Hello friends, welcome to instrumentation properly tutorials and this is our first part of uh, the basic industrial instrumentation course uh, and this video very useful for instrumentation technician as well as instrumentation engineer and if you are going for any interview then the questions can be asked in your interview also which we will cover in this course so now uh, let us start the first uh, part we will talk about some definition and objective of instrumentations and also some component of instrumentations so everything we will cover in our 15 parts where we will cover these 18 point so now let us start our first part of this course so the first uh, definition of the instrumentation so instrumentation is the art of measurement and control of process variable so this is the definitions now first we will understand what is the measurement and what is the control so when uh, there is one ft is installed in a process line so this is process line in which one ft is installed okay this is ft flow measurement and here there is one wall also installed in downstream of this ft so this is one wall fv flow wall is installed and so now we will define what is the measurement so what are the flow is going through this pipe it is measured by this ft for example 500 5 meter q okay 5 meter q so this is flow is going from uh, this line now this is the wall and the wall has three uh, parameter process variable which is five and it is uh, five which is given by this ft and one set value means four means four set value is four means it is controlling that the flow of this line should not exceed beyond this four meter cube per hour so what will happen the set according to set point this wall will work so currently it is 5 meter cube per hour and the set point is 4 meter cube per hour so the controller will give mb value for closing this wall means wall will move in closed directions so that the ft value will come around 4 meter cube per hour so this is how the ft will measure and we will control the process variable so this is the definition of the measurement and control of the process variable which is called the instrumentation now the next point is objective of instrumentations the first objective is safe operation of the plant means if any disturbance occur or any emergency occur then whole instrumentations will work as a safety of the plant means safe operation of the plant the second objective is to increase the life of equipment by providing all parameter for analysis and recording for example the compressor there is one compressor in which vibration monitoring system means vt vibration transmitter is installed and uh, this is actually monitored by the operators or some plant instrumentation engineer so they can see if there is any vibrations so they can see the higher side vibration is observed so the equipment can be stopped so this will also increase the life of the equipment and to increase the efficiency productivity and reliability of the uh, plant also and also instrumentation's objective energy conservation is also so these are the some objective of the instrumentations now the next point is uh, component of instrumentations so the first part is measuring device okay this is measuring device the second part is plc and dcs plc and dcs and third part is also the final control element so if we talk about some, there is one ft which is uh, a measuring device can be any pressure element temperature element flow element level element and any analyzer or etc so these are the some measuring and the control system is plc or dcs 
where all the logics are configured and according to the set point and all the configuration and logics are made inside the PLC or DCS it will actuate the MB value which will control the final control element which may be the wall BFD SOB so these are the actually component of the instrumentations measuring device control system and final control elements so what are the instrument standard signal so 3 to 15 psi the first uh, measuring standard signal of instrumentation 4 to 20 milliampere 0.2 to 1 kg and also 1 to 5 voltage dc so these are the instrument standard signal whenever uh, it is asked in your uh, interview you can see just simply these are the four main instrument standard signal which can be used for measuring the process variable now the instrument signal types so you have also uh, studied in your graduation class where you have studied there are two types of signal one is analog other is digital so analog is uh, continuous in nature and digital is zero or one so this is the main difference between analog and digital and analog also two types analog input which uh, may be 420 milliampere input signal from the field an analog output 4 to 20 milliampere output signal going to the field so input is uh, coming from field to plc and output is uh, plc to field so this is the input and output difference now digital is uh, digital input means field to plc and the digital input may be 0 or 24 volt dc or 110 volt DC and digital output is 0 or 24 DC or 110 volt DC supply to the field so this is the basic difference between digital and analog and input and output okay now signal flow diagrams which we have also covered in previous slides signal flow diagram simply this is our field and this is our field junction box okay field junction box and this is our marshalling panel marshalling panel and this is our main system panel plc system panel okay and again again this is field okay so what will happen when this is a FT okay this is FT so it is connected through one JV junction box and this junction box have many other sensor are also connected okay so this is one pair cable this is also one pair cable and if this is hard signal we will talk about the hard signal what is the hard signal in our communication protocol part so this is one pair cable and it is going to the marshalling panel 12 pair cable or 6 pair cable so it is actually the one cable which is going to the marshalling panel Okay, in a marshalling panel, there are some barrier or some terminal board are there and uh, which is connected through one uh, board and one board which has some prefab type of cable. So this board is directly connected to IO card. The IO card is installed in system panel and this IO card is directly connected through the controller through back chassis or some other type of connections and the controller takes the actions uh, in the basis of the logics is configured in the controllers to actuate the final control element 
so this is the signal flow diagram means the signal will go from field to junction box junction box to marshalling panel marshalling panel to system panel and system panel where all the logics are configured in controller which will give the command to actuate the control wall or final control element so this is the signal flow diagram of the instrumentation now now the next video we will talk about some pressure flow temperature and level regulated field instruments okay so if you are new on our youtube channel please subscribe this video and also if you want to know more about some other topic you can comment us and like this video and thank you very much for watching this video till the end